Next week, our team will start into the preseason, but already now here with me is somebody who will get into his first campaign in black and yellow. Thomas Meunier. Hello. Hi, Thomas. Very good. Uh, Thomas, sorry. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's quite difficult for me because in English it will be tough, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I said it. Next week, the preseason will start. And uh, how much do you looking forward to that beginning? Well, it's always something exciting because it's a new adventure for me. Uh, so I just can't say that I, I can't wait to be there, really, to, to discover. And Axel and Togan, you know, they, they, they told me a lot about the club, about yeah. the, the, the football, the, the group, the supporters, and something new for me, and I really want to discover it. Very good. It's not quite obvious, but actually we do have some things in common. We both joined this club when we were 28. Okay. Uh, we both ride backs. Yeah. And, so. um, so that means when it comes to a very popular trainings practice game here in Dortmund, you will be at the old team versus the young players. <laughs> but overall, what do you think can you bring to that team compared to those two young girls? How can you help this quite young team? Um, if I can compare, like in Paris, we had also like a group with older people mm -hmm. and uh, another group with the young people. And um, it's like really... Uh, you have to make that uh, their concern uh, every day, not only for the game, because sometimes, you know, it's, they look too, a, a bit lazy, you know, and okay, okay, we train, but uh, it's important only the weekend now because you, you play like you train. And uh, it, the, the, the main task for us really is to keep them focused and uh, a concert um, uh, for the, the, the group life also, and, and also for the football on the pitch and, and out the pitch. That's right. Uh, more things we have in common. Actually, in every country we played in, we won the championship yeah. and the cup. For you, that's uh, Belgium and, and France. And uh, for me, that list would be too long to actually tell it here. But, <laughs> um, but there's a lot of expectation because you are quite successful. So True. Uh, you have to follow up on this here in, in Germany as well. I right? bring a bit of luck. Yeah? So uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I hope we will enjoy it together. I hope it's not just luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not too not, much. I have a certain potential, yeah. I, I hope. But I uh, no, but I, I'm someone ambitious. Uh, so when I, when I sign in a club, I want to, to have a chance to win something. And uh, if I sign for Dortmund, it's, uh, it's only because I know we can win something right. with the group, a cup, uh, the championship uh, or, or whatever. But yeah. uh, anyway, I sign for four years. So uh, I hope uh, we will win something. I hope so too, actually. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you started off as a more offensive player, right? I was striker, yeah. You were a striker, now right back. Another similarity to me. And, you too. Uh, oh. But how come that, uh, that substitution from offensive to defensive player? Um, because when I signed uh, in Bruges, uh, I wasn't a key player because I came from third division. Mm -hmm. uh, so I played sometimes, not always, but I, I worked really well and I had a good connection with, uh, with the staff and the group. Mm -hmm. So they wanted me on the pitch, <laughs> but you know, I wanted to play offensive, I wanted yeah. to score, to give passes, you know. Mm. Uh, and, and once they told me uh, our, our captain, he was the right back, he, he was injured and we had nobody to replace him. Uh, it was against Maritimo Funchal in Europa League. Mm -hmm. So they told me, yeah, just play right back, do what you can do, you know, don't, you know, don't, don't think too much. Yeah. And my game was like perfect. And after I didn't leave the, the, this position anymore, so uh, the captain wasn't captain anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, but I wasn't the captain. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, but I, I, I played. Uh, it was end of contract. Also, mm -hmm. the situation was uh, at the end of the season, uh, the, of the season, and uh, so I played right back. Then I, I never left. Mm -hmm. Very, very good, actually. You had a lot of jersey numbers, actually. I have to read them. It's 2, it's 6, 12, 15, 16, and 19. Yeah. And some of those would have been open here at BVB as well, but you decided to take a, a totally new number. Why is that? I took the, the 24 um, because of my uh, grandfather. Okay. Uh, he passed away um, two years ago, and uh, he really liked German football. Okay. And I think he would be very proud oh. to see me Today in Dortmund, and that's wow. why it's a bit uh, oh, no, no, for me to I get to wear goosebumps. the twenty-four. First of all, condolences, but this gives me goosebumps. That's a that's a beautiful story, actually, a beautiful thing of you to do. Thank you. Um, now we have to talk about: is it 
Agent Axel or Agent Axel? Uh, because he gave himself this title uh, last year when he was uh, convincing <laughs> Togan Hazard yeah. uh, uh, to come here. So how much involved was he, uh, Agent Axel, oh, in, five, in this deal? Five percent. Five percent. <laughs> the commission was was not so high. Okay, but you mentioned that he was telling you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But I know uh, Axel is someone sincere, and uh, when I ask him, he's not lying. Yeah. You know, if I ask him uh, for for Dortmund. I know when he when he told me that it's a good club. I know it's a good yeah. club, you know. And uh, even if he, if it is bad for him to be here or to be in another club, he wouldn't say something mm -hmm. bad, you right. know. And um, so he was very honest with me, saying that it's a giant club uh, that is totally different than what I, I knew before. And uh, I didn't hesitate. My, my my choice was to come here anyway. So. Okay. It, it was just, just like it was an extra. yeah, yeah, an extra. It was okay. a bonus. Yeah, so only a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, but you can. Uh, he, <laughs> but he did a, go a good job. He did yeah, a good yeah, job. Yeah. Okay, so I mentioned that uh, a lot of times. Next week the preseason starts. It's going to be your tenth season as a professional player, right? So what do you look forward in your tenth uh, year of, of that professional career? And what's the most thing you you would like to not be there? Like depending or, or regarding preseason, you know, because it's tough work and it's you know I know. Towards my end of the career, I was counting actually the, the weeks of preseason practice because I said maybe two or three more, but then I have to stop. So, what are you looking forward the most, and what is a little bit annoying about that? Uh, in my head, I, I always had the same idea: I want to play until I cannot work anymore. Yeah. You know, so for me, it's just I, I'm just so happy to be to be here and to play and, and to make a preseason again because it means that I'm still in the game and uh, and. If we have to work, you know, six weeks, uh, two times per day. I know sometimes it's a bit long. <laughs> you know, you get you get tired and everything. Uh, maybe injured for 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 a few players, but it's part of the job. And really, I, I will never uh, I will never be negative about it. Okay. That's very good. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank in you your very first much. Year in black and yellow. I hope. It, oh, I, I think it suits you very well. The colors. So be successful. A little bit of that luck and potential you mentioned. And yeah, all the best. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs>